temperature technologies oh, great. remain safely operational now we're gonna burn to death. at 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory and essence. Well, is it that fucking lice? Lice. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that one. Goodbye. Well, goodbye to you, too. Thanks for this fun little excursion you put me on, unfortunately. I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm not fireproof, so I think we're just gonna have to, um... Shelve the uh, baking plans. Stop it. I, 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 we are pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. Right. We are very, very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. I believe it. Place the device on the ground, then lie on your stomach with your arms at your sides. A party associate will arrive shortly to collect you for your party. Party submission position. Make no further attempt to leave the testing area. Assume the party escort submission position or you will miss the party. Fuck the party. And fuck you. You tried to kill me, you overgrown fucking computer. You're nothing but a glorified handheld. With a superiority complex. I have smartphones that are more reliable than you. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good insult, I think. I don't know, I've never insulted an AI before. What well, one so apathetic is GLaDOS. Oh, it has been a minute since I played this game. Or, I should say, it's been a minute since- I can feel you here. I'm sure you can. That's disturbing. So, does this mean I'm, like, crawling around her brain? If you can feel me? Do you have, like, sensors built into the floor or something? Can you feel through concrete? Actually, that's an interesting question. If robots have sensors on their body, like, you know, nerve endings and whatnot, if they're made out of different materials, would the different materials make things feel different? Like, if they're wearing... If they have, like, I don't know, stainless steel legs, would that be, like, I don't know, pants like would it feel would it be like feeling things through pants or would it I don't know if they had I don't know concrete feet it, a robot with concrete feet that'd be interesting huh it'd be hard to move but if he ever kicked you assuming his foot didn't break ow Oh, but I digress. We're getting near the end of the game here, and I'm just gonna blow through the last half hour of this game in one extravagant finale, super special, awesome playthrough thing, maybe? I don't know. I'm not cool. I like to pretend I am, but I'm not. I just celebrated my birthday, actually. I was born on May 4th, National Star Wars Day. I didn't even find that out till I was in high school. Uh, I'm 22 now. Yay! I'm 22 years old and I'm playing video games on the internet for fun. I should get some friends. Well, you know. Whether I'm going the right way or not really isn't your concern, now is it? See, I'm the one trying to escape. I guess that would be your concern. Never mind. Hey, I remember this room! The test is over now. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. You're a filthy fucking liar. The test liar. is over. Come back. What if I don't want to come back? You know what? No, fuck you. We're, get we're gonna go through this test again. Or, well. I don't even know why I didn't do that to begin with. You know, I, it sounds like there's supposed to be an elevator coming, which is why I kind of hesitated here. And I'm trying to, I keep looking up and I'm trying to figure out if that's supposed to be an elevator or something. 
but apparently not. No, I don't want to hurry back. Fuck you. I keep looking up there to see if something's gonna drop, but nothing does. Oh yeah, the piston puzzles. My second least favorite part of Portal. I love the design and the way the maps and this area look. I love the fact that it looks like the decrepit, you know, uh, science lab. But I really, really, really was not a fan of the piston puzzles. I don't know, there's just something about having to work out moving platforms that I don't really like. Like, even the, uh, what is it, the mobile platform, I can't remember what they call it, some people call it the moving, the one that we almost died on just, like, six minutes ago. Yeah, even that's, like, with the death montage that I had left, which was really four deaths, that it felt like a lot more when I was playing the game, but, oh well, I made it work. Um, but yeah, moving platforms was never something I was really a big fan of in any games, really. Like, take for example, uh, Sonic. No, not Sonic, Mario. Mario 3. There's, uh, often, really an any Mario game, but Mario 3 is the one that I think, the one that comes to mind. There's a lot of, uh, levels, usually it's level 3 or 4, depending on what world it's in. But usually it's level 3 or 4. Is It's a sky level with a lot of moving platforms, and either the background itself is moving, like scrolling background so you can't stand in one spot, or the platforms will fall after a short time, so it forces you to keep moving. Which, I'm not against, I guess I should say, but it's not something that I would play. I just don't get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I mean, precision platforming, yeah, great, it's fine, I can do that all the time. It's not necessarily fun, though. Which is strange, because my favorite game is Sonic. And, well... Sonic's kind of always about the precision platforming. Well, kinda. Precision platforming at high speed. It's not that hard, but it can be a problem. Hey look, the game's loading the next level. Well, I'm going where I think I need to go. And if you don't think I'm going where you think I need to be going, then that means I'm going the right way, because I must be going where you don't think I'm going. See where I'm going with this? Hey, look! A ladder! That doesn't work. Oh, well, I tried. I tried again. Still didn't work. You know, the most annoying thing about this game to me, the, I, I guess, graphic-wise, is the fact that when you pull the ladder rungs out of the walls, it is literally just bullet holes from other games. I think that's the Half-Life bullet hole effect that you see. It's either Half-Life or Counter-Strike. Might even be TF2, but... I recognize them as bullet holes, so it just looked like someone was shooting at the wall really hard for me to just not see it like that. I have that issue with games. If I see a reused asset and I can recognize that it's a reu reused asset, I think like many other people, I can't unsee it, but I take it to an extreme where I will consciously look for it every time I'm playing the game. I don't know why, but I will consciously look for it. Like in The Legend of Zelda, in the second one. I am not, or not the second one. The second, uh, the sequel to Majora's Mask, or, yeah, Majora's Mask, the sequel to Ocarina of Time. There is a reused asset, it's a, uh, it's like a wall that has the name of a town from the first game on it. I think I died. But it has the 
name of a town from the first game on it. And I don't like the Legend of Zelda. I don't play the Zelda games. But every time I'll sit down and watch someone play Majora's Mask, or my cousin will play Majora's Mask, and I just have to be watching, I will consciously look to identify that wall. And I can't remember what the f it's called. It's pissing me off. Ugh. I'm never going to remember. But yeah, I will consciously look to identify where that wall is. And then I'll just stare at it for most of the time that I happen to be in the game. <coughs> Unfortunately, it always tends to do a drag ass. And you were all like, no way. Hello, I died. I do not like piston platforming! No way! Was it great? I kind of felt like it was just a little bit insulting. Hey look, I fell again. Now we're on the second platform. You know, aside from the fact that this place is abandoned, I kind of got the feeling that there was at least one other person in here. Did the game crash again? Probably not. Hey look, more pistons! I don't have to walk through. You really shouldn't be here. This isn't safe for you. Yeah, well, you really shouldn't be here. It's not safe for you. I'm not angry. Just go back. This is the end. Quite frankly, I don't care if you're angry, GLaDOS. I just want you dead. What's the song? Now I only want you gone. Well, yeah, GLaDOS. I want you gone. Run, running, running. Yay! Falling. Surviving! Hmm. What to talk about? I don't know. Let's see, what else is going on nowadays? Oh, I'm actually a pretty big fan of comics too. Marvel, DC. The two comic companies that I only really know. Well, I'm a big fan of characters, I should say. I read some of the comics when I can, but a problem with comics that I have is I don't want to buy a bunch of different issues to read everything. You know, I, I like, even with TV shows, I just wait for the full seasons to be on Netflix so I can binge watch the whole TV, or the whole season. And uh, with How I Met Your Mother, I didn't even start watching How I Met Your Mother until season 11, so I could... It was it season eleven or was it season? Because did it have a season? Did it have thirteen seasons or did it have nine? Was it thirteen or nine? I don't remember. The season I started watching How I Met Your Mother at was the season right before uh, Barney and Robin's wedding, and I can't remember how many seasons were in How I Met Your Mother, but that was the season I started watching it, or that was the season that it was on when I started watching it. You know, and I just went on Netflix and I just had to watch the whole thing. In fact, I'm doing that right now with Young Justice. I never watched Young Justice up until... Okay. I never watched Young Justice with the intent of watching it up until about a week ago. You know, I watched it if it was on, but I never, you know, went out of my way to check it out. Uh, but when I saw that both seasons were on Netflix and uh, had a friend over, he was like, Hey, what's that? Young Justice? What's that? 
it's Justice League when they're kids. You want to watch it? Sure, why not? You know, it was something like that. So now I'm trying to blow. Th uh, now I'm almost done with the second season. So, you know, uh, <laughs> fun times. Good time too, because the third season's about to come out. I think it's either this year or next year, and I am officially hyped for it. And I'm also caught on the turret. But you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Good people don't get up here. Is 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 up there like hell and down here like heaven? Cause uh, the imagery and like the red and the smoke and all the industrial ruin uh, machinery kind of give me an impression that this would be like a hell and uh, uh -oh. like you know the clean and crisp and sleek and new heaven would be upstairs because you know it's up and symbolism and imagery and I'm just reaching here I can't even think of any reason hey look we found one of Ratman's Doug Ratman's hideaways that's what I was getting to yeah there's always I always felt like there was another person when I was playing this game just watching you besides GLaDOS and when the second one came out I found out who Doug Ratman was so now when I play the first portal I kind of look for his stuff you know his secret little hideouts and whatnot but I think he was only supposed to be part of the second game wasn't he or no wait that's right he was a prequel he released Chell I think this is your fault. I don't remember exactly what he did like but this. or exactly what he did I'm not kidding. but I know he had something to do with the story and I'm pretty sure it's prequel related hey look a rocket turret I'm No. This is your last chance. What if it's your last chance? Huh? Did you ever think of that? Apparently they can't kill themselves with rockets, so I guess I'll just have to cheat. Ah, uh, this is one of the f fucking hardest things that I ever f had to do in this game. Because physics puzzles. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm doing what I or if I'm supposed to do it this way. But I physically could not think of another way to get up here. So it didn't matter to me. <laughs> For all I know, this might actually be what you're supposed to do. But I, uh, well, I don't know. So. We don't need the clipboard. We have technology. We're going to solve our problems using good old technology. Good old, completely not how you're supposed to use this technology. We're going to need three computers for this. See, I, I really have no idea if I am supposed to be doing it like this. So close. Unfortunately, I didn't bother to check where I was stacking them.
come on. And into the vent we go! I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it, but I'd never bothered to look it up, and that was the way I did it the first time, so... I don't know if that makes me smart or stupid. I always thought that was an interesting fact. It looks like it wants to portal, but it can't portal. And now we're in the sewers. I wonder if Killer Croc's down here. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and various other genders, which I do not believe in, we are almost near the end. Playing in a sewer. And we found the radio! Kill it! Oh yeah, the poor or the turret rush. I refuse to die here. So I won't. I'm just gonna cheese you off. Nope. Who could it be? Could it be a marauder? Could it be an assassin? Nope. It's just Chell Testa and her portal gun. Chell Testa, professional turret extractions. You can call me the AI exterminator, because I'm about to open up a can of- Oh god, drop it! Drop it! Okay. That's enough playing around. I don't want to die. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Hooray, momentum destruction! Even though it really didn't work. Wee! I missed. God damn it. I blame the liberal media. I blame them again. And a third time. But at least I made it on the third time. Hey, look! More turrets. <laughs> You know, GLaDOS, I don't want to tell you how to run your operations, but I feel like if you let the turrets start shooting, maybe, you know, before you set them on the ground, things might have ended better? I don't know. Maybe. I could be wrong. But then again, I also don't know why they... Well, I know why they scrapped that Hubber turrets idea, but in-universe, GLaDOS must have scrapped it. I don't know why she did. I don't know why she doesn't let her turrets walk, either. But, well, I guess that would defeat the point of them being turrets. They'd be robots at that point, but whatever, man. Seriously, turrets aren't going to get shit done when you're giving people an interdimensional transmuted portal device. Transmuted. An interdimensional transmitting portal device. Hey, look! Black Mesa! It's a Half-Life reference! And we're just gonna sit here and look at all of the Half-Life reference. You know, I should probably play Half-Life again one of these days, but eh. I don't know. It's not a bad game, but it was never something that really kind of, you know, sucked me in. I always kind of got bored. I, I beat it once, and every time I tried to replay it after it, I always get bored right about where that point where you get the rocket launcher for the first time, and the helicopter's flying on the rock, or like you're on the side of the rock face, and the helicopter flies up, and you have to kill it, and eh, I don't know. It just kind of loses me after that. I haven't even beaten the second one. 
I actually haven't even played it. I've had it. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that, and we'll just call it a day. You don't. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That was incinerate! 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 Never mind. It's a mystery. I'll solve later by myself because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. Oh, I'm sure. I fully I believe you. you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Oh, I'm sure. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? Yes. I mean, seriously now. You know what? I know that you're supposed to use the portal gun, but I want to do this. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. No. You you lost this. You don't get Let's it back. Honest. No. Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner, and I'll deal with it later. I don't need to know what it does. You're kidding me. Did you just set that aperture science thing we don't know what it does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? I'm pretty sure. That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. Sounds like you knew what it did. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. I can't trust you. All right. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. That's what I call a fucking lucky shot. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalyst. It makes you for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. Well, I mean, you know. Don't be useful, something burning. I think I'm doing whatever I need. In base four, I'm fine. I let we call that the Matrix, where I come from. Behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to now, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend and companion, Kip. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends. Neurotoxin. So tacky. Joking. Is that supposed to be your imitation of me? Massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bath in this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less. Mine! Who's going to make the cake when I'm gone? You, look, you're wasting your time. And believe me, you don't have a whole lot left to waste. What's your point anyway? Survival. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain Damn it! and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which is just about to. Don't believe me. You know what? Let's press your off button. That's it. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so long? I'm trying to escape. Physics 
It won't let you go inside because it's going to pick you up and pull you away. Is this heaven? Heaven looks like a destroyed parking lot. Fun fact, that little scene was not in the game when I first played it. They actually added that in as a, uh, I guess, an update to allude to Portal 2. I actually remember reading about that, and when I first heard about it, I had to go replay the game to see it. But deep in the bowels of this facility, under the dark eyes, of night, we have cake and companion cube. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us. Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done And you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive Ah, the best part of Portal The ending credits music Which says a lot considering the rest of the game actually isn't terrible But yeah, that was uh, Portal. If you haven't played it by now, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but you might want to go pick it up on Steam. It's actually a really, really great game. And it's definitely worth any price that you could pay for it now, because I think it's like 10 bucks, maybe less. I got it with the orange box, and honestly, I loved it. It's a good game. It's a really good game. And you should definitely play it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, I guess, my first Let's Play. Uh, maybe I'll do some more. Maybe I'll do some other things. I don't know, but, uh, I thought Portal would be a good game for me to, um, try playing. Because it's quick, it's short, everyone knows that it exists, and, uh, I don't know. Maybe you enjoyed it. Oh, what a good song. Anyway, uh, that was Portal. I hope you enjoyed it. 
And, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, nobody. Out. <laughs>